today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a layout for the uh, 4 for 4 Summer Series. And uh, Janet over at RTS Scrapbooking, she does these uh, 4 for 4 series. And uh, she gives us instructions on uh, how to cut the paper and build a kit. Now, I have already built my kit, and uh, this is what I'm going to be working with here. I have a video already uh, where I shared how I built the kit. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description in this video. And uh, you can just go click on that link and uh, watch that. But in this video, what I'm going to be doing is cutting paper down for the uh, all four of my uh, layouts. I'm going to be doing four layouts. And, uh, and then I'm going to be sharing with you the scrapbook process for layout number one. Okay, and so let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to start off and share with you the paper that I had selected. Um, these are the uh, four sheets of paper that I pulled in my kit. And uh, I'm just going to go through them pretty quick here because uh, I think I did speed this up um, by two. And just wanting to um, not make this video too long. But those are the four sheets of paper that I'm going to be working with. And I have them numbered there. And then uh, this is the instructions. I printed this out from the Facebook group. Um, there's a Facebook group called Love RTS uh, that is uh, run by Deborah Vincent Co. And uh, it's awesome. So if you haven't joined that yet, uh, I would definitely recommend going out there and checking out that Facebook group. And uh, I printed out these instructions and now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna write down each one of these papers so that I don't get confused later. And so I wrote down all five uh, or all four of those sheets of paper and now I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. And if you need help and instructions on how to cut the paper, it's all listed in this uh, document that I was able to print out. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you on the screen uh, the measurements as I'm cutting it out. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting up this paper. This is paper number one, which is the abstract geometric. And I'm going to be cutting it into a 6 by 12 and then a 1 and a half by 12. And then I'm going to take the remaining paper and cut it into three three by four pieces. Now um, it's really easy. Janet makes it super easy because she gives us the all the instructions to cut the paper and also um, which paper to use on the different layouts. So now I'm taking paper number two which is the green stripe and I'm going to cut it down to six by twelve and then three by twelve and then I'm going to take that three by twelve piece of paper and I'm going to cut it into a three by nine and I'll be left with the three by three. And then I'm going to take the, the leftover 3 by 12 paper and I'm going to cut it into three 3 by 4 pieces. Okay, so now we're going to move on to paper number 3, which is our flowers. I'm going to cut one 7 by 12. And then I'm going to be trying to cut a 1 by 12, but I'm kind of struggling because there's no measurements on this paper trimmer on the left side. So I decided I was going to cut this down from a 5 by 12 to a 4 by 12, and that would give me one, my 1 inch strip. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this remaining piece into a 5 by 4, a 3 by 4, and a 4 by 4. And then I missed a step. I'm going to have to go back and, and do that. But I was supposed to cut the 4 by 4 into four 1 inch strips. Okay, so for paper number 4, we're going to be cutting an 8 by 8. And then we're going to take the leftover 4 by 8 and cut it into two 4 by 4s. Okay, so next I'm going to cut a half inch by 12 inch strips. But I... I went ahead and just cut that 4 by 12 down to a 3 and a half by 12 and then a 3 by 12 and that gave me the two half inch strips. And then I took that last um, 3 by 12 and cut it into three 3 by 4s. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and select the paper for my layout. This is layout number one. And so the directions are really awesome because it gives you exactly what papers you need to pull. So I'm going to get the 6 by 12 from paper number one, the 6 by 12 from paper number two, and then the one, one inch by 12 inch from paper number three, and then the half inch by 12 inch from paper number four. Okay, and that's gonna be the paper I'm gonna be working with. Now I got this uh, ugly paper from my stash that's really old, and I thought I'm just gonna turn it upside down, and I will use that to um, kind of piece together my layout. I knew I was gonna be covering up the background because I have these two six by 12 strips and that I'm using. Okay, so now I'm looking at this paper. I'm supposed to be using the green side, but when I was I was putting it down there, I just flipped it over and I really liked the pink. So I'm just gonna go with it and I'm gonna use the pink side instead. And uh, now I'm just gonna trim off that excess there and uh, so that I can get rid of that white. 
And uh, I had a little bit of trouble cutting that down because I think that paper is really, really old. You know, sometimes when you have super old paper, it's very difficult to trim it with the paper trimmer because it just shreds it. So I just think it's because the paper is just super old. Okay, so now I'm going to be gluing down these strips. And uh, I thought this was really a fun combination that I would never have picked out myself. But because you just cut the paper first and you don't have any idea of what you're going to be using, um, yeah, it's kind of like a surprise. <laughs> Because I don't know if I would have ever put those combinations of papers together. So it was kind of fun. Um, now, but I'm going to struggle a little bit with how to place my picture. So, um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm looking through my pictures here. And uh, I have a bunch of pool pictures. And I love these little pictures with my niece. And uh, actually, this is my great niece. She was about two or three years old in these pictures. But now she's a teenager in high school. So we were at my sister's house, and uh, my sister had an uh, above-ground pool, and uh, we were in her backyard, and uh, this was my niece trying to climb the ladder and <laughs> just snap these pictures of her. But, uh, yeah, super cute pictures. Okay, so now I'm going to try to figure out my placement of my pictures, and I wanted to get rid of a lot of the excess from the pictures because um, it just had a lot of the side of the pool, and I didn't really think that I wanted that in my layout. So... I'm trying to trim these down. I kind of thought maybe I would put all four pictures across the, the layout, but then once I got all these pictures uh, cut, I realized that um, that would completely cover up, um, you know, if I put it in the middle of the layout, it would completely cover up those two strips of paper in the middle, and I really like that. I wanted that to show. So I'm going to have to come up with a different placement for my pictures, and I'm just kind of you know, messing around with the pictures, trying to get them all the same size. <laughs> okay. So um, now that I have that there, you know, it's covering up almost the entire middle of the layout. And I just didn't like how that looked. So then I decided I was going to maybe put those three pictures together. And then that one picture that was kind of a close up uh, separately. And I'm trying to move the paper in different places to try to figure out what would be the best uh, place to put the pictures. And then I gave up. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to move on to something else. So I decided I would go ahead and figure out what my title was going to be and what thickers I was going to use. And so I'm using these white thickers, and I'm going to spell out, here comes trouble. And uh, I decided that I didn't want the whole thing to be white. I like to mix up my, if I have a long title, I like to mix it up and use two different alphas. And so I'm going to bring in this other alpha. It's all different uh, colors. I love this uh, particular thicker. Uh, I've used it uh, several times already. So I kind of struggled a little bit because I was missing letters and I, I didn't have an L. And so I'm going to have to try to figure out, um, you know, somehow to make an L. So I tried to use a 7 there and it looked okay. But um, I'm just still looking to see what I could find. And then I had too many yellow letters and yeah. I also thought, well, maybe I should bring in some other colors because it was kind of looking really pastel. And so I decided, I think I was uh, put in that dark blue, and then I decided to bring in the dark pink. And I thought that looked much better. In, uh... Okay, so here is where I'm going to try to um, make an L. So I took this X, and I decided I would try to use that X and make an L. And uh, it gave me the dark pink. I want another dark pink letter. And I'm just going to MacGyver this together. That's what I call it. Uh, Y'all remember that TV show from like, I don't know, it was from the 1980s. And uh, they had that guy MacGyver and he could he could make anything for me. You know, he just, yeah, it was amazing. So <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> so I just MacGyvered that all together. And uh, I'm going to use this glass paper, um, not paper, uh, nail file and kind of file that uh, chipboard down. That chipboard was really difficult to cut, so um, I was kind of uh, really struggling to try to get it to look right. But I, in the end, I think the L turned out really cute. And uh, I don't think you can tell unless you really look close at it. So there I go, I got that finished. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this L together. Uh, I didn't wanna lose any of those little pieces, so I'm just taking some wet glue. It's art glitter glue and I'm uh, going to just glue that together. Now, um, later on when I was um, doing my final, you know, touch-ups on the layout and gluing things down, I actually lost that L and I looked for it for like 10 minutes. 
I looked everywhere, and you know where it was? It was stuck underneath my layout. <laughs> it wasn't until I picked the layout and turned it over that I actually found that L, and so I was uh, kind of getting upset because I'm like, how am I going to make another L? <laughs> took so long making that one. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Matt these pictures on white and uh, I decided I would take the three little pictures that are going to go across and make it look kind of like a film strip. So I decided I wanted to change the order of these pictures. I, I thought that the one where she's looking back uh, would look better on the left hand side and uh, so I went ahead and switched the pictures around. So now I'm going to get my We Are Memory Keepers layering guides. I love these uh, layering guides. They make it so easy to get an even um, measurement around the entire uh, picture and so I'm making a 1 8 inch uh, white mat to go around these three pictures and uh, I just love that we are remember keepers tool it's uh, it's super awesome and I'm using a blade and I'm just taking the blade and it's to me it's much easier if instead of trying to press really hard I just take the blade and I run it over like a couple of times and if you if you get something that's kind of off, you can even take take away little small uh, pieces of uh, of paper there. You can see how small I can trim that up. And then my picture was a little crooked, so I fixed that. <laughs> now I'm going to mat this other picture. This other picture is bigger, and I think I decided to trim it down. Yeah, I did. I thought I would trim it down a little bit more, and uh, yeah. So before I uh, go ahead and mat that, I trimmed it down a little bit more. Now I'm going to mat that the same. Going to do a 1 8 inch mat all the way around this picture as well. And uh, I just love these little pictures. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, and they grow up so fast. I can't believe uh, she's in her 30s now and she has a, a daughter. My uh, great niece is, uh, I think she'll, she turned 17 in September. Yeah. <laughs> so her daughter is 17. Okay, so now I'm going to try to figure out the placement of my title and uh, where I'm going to put these pictures and uh, I'm still messing around with this. I got stuck. This is the this was probably the hardest challenge in this layout because um, I was just having a hard time with trying to get that uh, those pictures to uh, stand out against that geometric print and uh, I decided that I would uh, try to mat it but then I changed my mind. I had that was my orange paper that was my fifth optional paper that I could use now I pulled some chipboard and I thought well maybe if I see where my clusters are going to go and what embellishments I have that would help me to figure out where I could place my pictures so uh, yeah I just think if you get stuck just move on to something else <laughs> that's what I did I found this little bird and then that little uh, circle chipboard that said hot 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 and uh, then I decided Part of the reason why I was struggling with this layout is because at the top in that geometric pattern there's a lot of white and then I matted my pictures on white and my title has white but then that pink uh, doesn't you know it doesn't the white doesn't stand out so I thought well I'm just going to cut my background down uh, a half an inch and I'm going to uh, back it with some white cardstock so that's what I did okay so now I thought it'd be cute if I could use some of these photo corners and I, I see Janet using a lot of photo corners, and I never really use them very often. And I thought I would challenge myself to try them out. And uh, I used a orange. I tried that bright orange, but I didn't like it. So <clears throat> I went ahead and put that light color pink all on all four corners. And I thought that looked really cute. So uh, I'm going to have to use photo corners more often because, uh, yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so now I'm back to trying to figure out where my pictures are going to go and where my title is going to go. And that's pretty much my layout right there. Um, that is where I decided to place everything. But um, now I'm just looking at it and it's very, um, I don't know, it just needed something. So I'm going and I pulled this uh, little paper pad from Echo Park and I'm going flipping through it looking for some paper. And... Uh, I decided that I needed something else and I wanted to add a circle because everything was so so like uh, square and rectangular I just thought it needed another shape and uh, I pulled that yellow paper isn't that pretty I just love that yellow and it kind of adds a little bit more color it's going to add more color to the bottom of the layout so I took out my Martha Stewart circle cutter and I'm trying to figure out like what size circle I want to use and uh, 
I'm still learning how to use this. I, I got that at Tuesday mornings, I think. Uh, no, no, I got it at Michael's. That's where I got it. I got it at Michael's. And uh, it was only a couple months ago, so I think it's easier if you stand out, stand up to use it, but I was kind of being lazy, and I didn't want to stand up, so <laughs> it made it a little bit harder. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really easy to use, and you can make circles. I, I, can't, I think it's 8 inch all the way up to maybe 2 inch circles, and it's really easy to use. So I'm going to cut this one circle in half, and... Uh, trying to figure out where I'm going to put the circle. So I end up with one over there on the left, and then that, uh, I think that's a three-inch circle on the uh, at the top left corner. And then I'm going to take uh, that half circle and put it at the bottom. Then I had this idea. I thought, well, this is really cool. I love putting my title around a circle like that. And uh, I thought that'd be cute. So I decided that I was going to put my title at a, at a curve it around the circle there. Okay, so now I'm going to finally start gluing stuff down. I, I said, this is my layout, and this is the way I'm going to have it, so I'm just going to start gluing everything down. And uh, <clears throat> I had this little popsicle that I also pulled off of that chipboard. And that was the chipboard from, from Sunshine and Happiness. It's a really cute collection. It's an Echo Park collection. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and stick down these foam letters, and uh, that was a little bit, it, the trouble was easy to go around the circle, but because the um, here comes is going around the trouble, uh, it was a little bit more of a challenge to get that one lined up, but um, yeah, I move it around a couple of different times and uh, try to get it a little bit closer. I thought it looked better if it didn't, um, if it kind of was smaller than the uh, trouble. So I'm going to move it around a few times. <laughs> Does Oliver do this? You just keep moving your letters around? <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it like that. I ended up moving it closer. I think it looked much, much better once I uh, kind of squished it together a little bit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I like that. So that looks really cute. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this circle down at the top. And uh, I'm going to glue those pictures down. I love that little bird and the little uh, popsicle. I thought those were really cute. So, uh, okay, trying to remember what I'm doing next. I'm thinking, I guess. I, I do that. Do you ever notice that you do that? I tap my fingers. I'm like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> oh, that's what I was doing. I thought there's this weird kind of space uh, in between the top of the layout and the bottom of the layout, and I thought it looked a little disjointed. So I thought I'm going to try to cut another piece of uh, the circle and stick it right there. So that's what I did. <laughs> so... I just thought that made, kind of made the layout come together, and uh, I ended up with this design where it's going from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. It's kind of a diagonal design. I was trying to uh, use that particular layout style because I'm taking this class from Nicole Jones 911, and uh, the layout, uh, it, one of the prompts was to create a diagonal layout, which I don't usually do that. And so um, this layout ended up being that way um, because I had just watched the video for um, from Nicole Jones 911 Scrapathon 4 class, and I thought, well, I should do that kind of a layout. I don't usually do a diagonal layout, but I thought it was a kind of a cute idea. I like taking classes like that because um, it challenges you to do things that you normally wouldn't. So I love taking classes, and I've taken the Scrapathon class. This is my second time. I took it in March. And now I'm taking it again in October, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, I also like doing things like this, which is the um, 4 for 4 series, because it challenges you to do things you normally typically wouldn't do. And uh, Okay, so now I'm looking for some embellishments, and I'm looking through this little sticker book that I got at Michael's. It's a recollection sticker book, and uh, that's a really awesome deal. Uh, Michael's had their all their recollection stickers. They had a 60% off coupon. And it included uh, these sticker books. So I got a, quite a few of these sticker books. And they're so cute. This one is uh, summer and it's got pool stuff. And so I pulled out some uh, different sayings. I'm trying different things. I also pulled out some puffy stickers, which uh, it was from the panda. I'm trying to remember the name of that collection. It's got little panda bears. Uh, but I ended up not using that little uh, bug at the bottom or that flower. It just didn't look right. It didn't match the colors in my layout, even though it was really cute. And even those little flip-flops, they didn't end up making it on the layout. I, I actually did use flip-flops, but I found a different uh, set of flip-flops off of another piece of chipboard. 
Okay, so now I'm just going through and uh, flipping through this other uh, little recollection sticker book. This one's more of a tropical um, stickers, but uh, some of the stickers are really cute in there too. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some uh, puffy stickers from October afternoon. This is from the summertime uh, collections, and they're called Pillow Puffs, which I thought was a funny name. And uh, I pulled in that little one there that says, Love This. It's like a little speech bubble. And then I also put Sun Kiss, which is that orange sticker uh, over there on the right side. But I ended up actually not using any of those, which is pretty funny. The Sun Kiss, uh, it stayed there for a really long time, and then it fell off my layout. Uh, when I was uh, gluing everything down and I didn't I forgot that I had even had it there so um, after I looked back at the pictures I liked it without that sun kiss so I just left it off <laughs> and I'm just going back to different uh, sticker sheets uh, trying to find something I was looking for something to fill that circle at the bottom and then that little half circle below those pictures it, nothing that was matching the colors in my layout was working I needed a particular you know, size of uh, embellishment and a sticker uh, or something to fit there. So um, I went and I, I was looking at this uh, collection. It's, I think it's called Poolside, and I believe it's a crepe paper um, chipboard. It's a 12 by 12 chipboard. And I found that little beach ball, and I decided that's what I was going to put. But um, I ended up uh, going back and getting that little chipboard that said hot, 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 and putting that instead of the love this. I like the love this, but it was a much darker orange and it was shiny, so it was kind of just bugging me. And uh, that's where I changed out the flip flops. I got those flip flops from this uh, 12 by 12 chipboard as well. So I'm going to move that beach ball and put it up uh, in the middle of the layout. And then I found this uh, pool float. It's like a little circle. It kind of looks like a donut. And that's going to end up going um, down there under the Here Comes Trouble. I tried a bunch of different things butterflies and cameras and. I just couldn't find anything that looked like it went with this layout. So, <laughs> to help her do that, you just keep, you know, pulling things and you just can't find the right embellishment. <laughs> so I decided to bring in some enamel dots and I have this uh, acrylic drawer set that has my enamel dots by color. And uh, I picked out this really pretty pink uh, that looked like it went uh, with the uh, thickers, that trouble, the word trouble, and then the, also an orange, uh, aqua, and a lime green. And I'm just going to scatter those enamel dots around my page. I like to kind of group them by threes. I think uh, if you use an odd number of enamel dots, like either one or three or five, it looks much better than using an even number. And uh, I'm going to also continue to glue down uh, all my little embellishments. And I think this layout's coming out really cute. Um, I love that I used the circles. I thought that really added some an extra color and it kind of popped uh, made the layout pop more I think so um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up adding these enamel dots and uh, all those little things on the right hand side they didn't make the layout so uh, I'll be putting those back on the sticker sheet <laughs> I am so um, yeah I'm kind of a perfectionist so I just fiddle around with stuff quite a bit sometimes I kind of frustrate myself <laughs> I think that's it I'm done with this layout so I'm going to be sharing some close-up pictures and I will also um, share uh, the uh, full layout, some close-ups here. I'm going to share at the very end there's some actual pictures that I took of the layout once I glued everything down. So I hope you all enjoyed this uh, process video. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.